Hey guys, what is up? My name is Latin and welcome to the Jersey Zone. So today I have another unboxing for you guys. I have a jersey that I got off Kijiji, a hat that I got off Kijiji, and then this jersey here that I bought off of eBay. It's not a reverse retro, but it is a jersey that I'm still really excited about. So let's get right into it. All right, so I got it open and I got it in a plastic bag here. All right, let's take it out. And yeah, <laughs> I'm really, really excited about this one. I've been wanting this jersey for a very long time. I think you guys saw a little bit of it there. This is a jersey I've been looking for in my size for pretty much forever. I absolutely love this jersey. It's one of my favorite jerseys of the team, maybe the favorite jersey. It's pretty close. But anyways, let's just go ahead and show it. And it's the Washington Capitals Capitol Building jersey. And man, I really, really like this thing. I think the logo is sweet. I think it's a really cool looking logo. And I like the kind of brown or whatever kind of color that you want to call this. I really, really like that as well. It's a neat looking color. And it's kind of like a different material too. So it kind of shines a little bit, which I really, really like a lot on this jersey as well. And yeah, I just think it looks super, super nice. Like I said, I've been looking for this jersey for a long time now. And I just haven't really found it in my size. I'm not really too sure why I had such a hard time finding it in my size, but... I really, really like it. Like I said, it's either my favorite or my second favorite. It's between this one and the blue Screaming Eagle jersey. I really, really like that jersey for the Washington Capitals as well. Those two are kind of like my favorites for the Capitals. But yeah, I'm I'm really, really excited that I got this jersey. I think it is fantastic. It's super nice. And I'm super happy to finally have it in my size. And it looks like it's in really good condition as well. I'm super, super excited that I finally got this jersey. Okay, so now let's move on to the jersey and the hat that I got from Kijiji. Let's start off with the hat here. This is a hat that I have literally, I've never seen before. I've never seen a hat with this logo on it. So I kind of jumped on it pretty quickly here. It doesn't fully match the jersey that the logo has on it, but let's just show you anyways. So as you guys can see, it's a Montreal Canadiens. They wore this logo uh, during their centennial season in 2009 when they released like those five jerseys, the barber pole being one of them uh, with like their specialty jersey. Now this hat doesn't fully fit that jersey. That jersey is green and red. So it's this one's blue and red. So it's a little different. Also, this hat is super, super dirty. Uh, so I'm going to have to clean it here. But like I said, I've never seen a hat with that logo on it before. So I thought I would pick it up. I think it's a nice looking hat and it'll match a lot of Canadians jerseys anyways, because it is blue and red. So even if it doesn't match that particular jersey, which I don't even have, by the way, I just know that I want it in the future. So when I do eventually get it, it's not going to fully match that hat, but that's OK. Either way, I like the hat. Now let's go on to the jersey that I got. And so this jersey is a Pittsburgh Penguins home jersey. They wore these jerseys about, I think it was in the mid 90s is when they wore them. I think so. Uh, either way, I like this jersey a lot. It's a nice looking jersey. The thing about this jersey though, is as you guys can kind of see, it's got the fight strap. So it is an authentic. And I actually already do have this jersey. I have a replica version of this jersey. And now I have the authentic. And the difference is actually really, really big. The logo difference between this jersey on the authentic and the replica jersey is pretty massive. Like it's a pretty big difference. So I really, really am excited that I got the authentic version of it. I always want the authentic version over the replicas because it always does look a lot nicer. Although a lot of my jerseys are replicas just because they are that much cheaper most of the time. And they're a lot easier to find as well. The authentics for older jerseys are usually really, really hard to find. So I'm excited that I got an authentic in the older jersey. And the funny thing is, is for this jersey here, I bought it for $50. The replica, so the same jersey just in a replica, I bought for $52. So I got the authentic for cheaper than I bought the replica. A little funny, but yeah, I'm really, really excited about this one. Like I said, I love getting authentics. I think they all are just absolutely amazing. If you can get an authentic jersey over the replica, I would recommend it. But like I said, it's usually fairly expensive to get the authentic. So I understand why people don't overly collect them just because that can get really, really expensive really, really quickly. And jersey collecting is already pretty expensive. So I usually get it, but getting an authentic for $50 is a pretty good steal. So I am super, super happy that I got this, especially for the price that I got it. So I am, I'm excited about that. I'm happy about that. All right, but anyways, that was my unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like and make sure to subscribe for more Jersey content. Also, make sure to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter at the Jersey Zone YT on Instagram and at the Jersey Zone on Twitter. Links are in the description down below. But like I said, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.